One tool you absolutely need if you're just getting into automotive window film is this windshield wiper pulley. For taking off windshield wipers in order to do these back windows, it's critical to have this tool. So I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna screw this down. And what that does is it tightens these outside clamps. And then once it's hooked on the plastic tool, I'm just gonna slowly tighten this. And there you have it. It's also important to remember what side this goes on because the last thing you want to do is accidentally put it on the wrong side and have that windshield wiper go down onto the car. So what we like to do is just announce that it was on the passenger side and the whole team repeats back. It was on the passenger side. Passenger side. And then we'll also set it down in the same orientation that it was. And as you can see here, we put down a microfiber with the bolt on top, as well as the tool that we use. I like to take off this piece of plastic because this piece of plastic is actually pressed up against the glass. And by removing this piece of plastic, as well as these side pillars, this window becomes much, much easier. So I'm just gonna flex it a little bit in order to get this tool behind there. Then I'm gonna get my fingers underneath it. Careful to not slide your fingers and cut yourself because it's really easy. The key is to just be fast and abrupt and not try to go real nice and slow. And then I'm gonna make sure that all the clips stayed inside of this trim piece. Now getting these back on is a little bit more challenging than taking them off. Just one clip came out, so I'm just gonna put this back in right away. After you install the window film, heat this side of the window up from the exterior so that the piece of film is adhered really well and you don't accidentally peel up the film and ruin your freshly tinted window when reinstalling this. Again, making sure that all my metal clips stayed in. One came out, so I'm gonna put that back right away. Keep this on the passenger side. And now, not only can we prep a lot better, but it's gonna be a lot easier to install. Make sure that we use our true spray system to clean up underneath this spoiler and get as many contaminants out as possible before we get started.